So all this week, we're taking a closer look at the major vacant buildings, blighted properties, installed construction projects in our city. We all know there are a lot of them. Well, just about every neighborhood has at least one. A big question for people who have to look at them every single day. Why is it taking so long to get anything done? Danny Monteverdi went looking for answers in tonight's installment of Vacant New Orleans. It was a usually busy evening along Bayou St. John recently. Some people relaxed along the banks or kayaked in the bayou. Others ran or rode bikes along the Lafitte Greenway. Looming over it all, ominous as ever, was the old Lindy Boggs Medical Center. We have a lot of residents on Bienville who have been having to wake up and look at this out their front windows every morning for 16 years. A chain link fence has surrounded the former hospital since Hurricane Katrina led to its closure. That doesn't stop people from coming and going as we saw one recent afternoon. Meanwhile, the building, a canvas for graffiti artists, continues to crumble. Boards have been ripped off some windows, others are broken. Several owners have introduced several plans for the building over the years, but so far none have come to pass. City code enforcement officers are no stranger to the property, nor is the NOFD that responded to a fire inside the building back in 2019. Neighbors worry what else could happen inside the empty halls. If it stays in this state, we'll turn into an emergency. The building is owned by the St. Margaret's Foundation, a nonprofit. A nursing home the foundation opened in 2012 sits right next to the blighted hospital. St. Margaret's vice president told a recent meeting of the Mid-City Neighborhood Organization that COVID-19 wreaked havoc on finances that could have turned the hospital into senior housing. The holdup on the financial markets right now is, you know, COVID um, coupled with, you know, obviously perceptions about, you know, senior living care um, and, you know, investors being nervous about lending um, in that area. I sympathize. I understand that it, it, it's frustrating that, you know, we can't, we can't walk into the bank and, and line up the, the millions of dollars that we need to, you know, get the shovels in the ground immediately, and um, COVID certainly didn't help. Chris Bloom, the president of the Mid-City Neighborhood Organization, says he's not happy with the latest reason, given the prior broken promises. No, I really don't have very much confidence in, in any work being done. It's frustrating to think. I, I know development and commercial real estate is tricky and complicated. It's not something I deal with uh, in particular, but from a resident's point of view, uh, nobody wants to hear that. Bloom did point out to us after our interview that crews were at the old hospital bricking over a door. Work to pump out the flooded basement also appeared ready to happen. While the owners of the Lindy Boggs Medical Center say there is no money for repairs, there was money set aside years ago for repairs to the city-owned Brechtel Golf Course in Algiers. But those repairs never happened. The golf course went back to nature, creating a nuisance for neighbors. At the beginning of the Landrieu administration, there was a list of 100 uh, projects. They were all infrastructure projects that were supposed to get done. And it was on that list and nothing ever got done with it. Instead, the land, which was donated for use as a public park, has been untouched for years. From the numbers I've seen, tens of millions have been spent on parks across the river. These pictures show the site in 2014. This is how it looks today, with grass growing wild and weeds pulling down parts of the fence, and trash is everywhere. It's ugly. It's genuinely ugly. Recently, a fire gutted the old clubhouse, but there still are no solid plans for the property. City Hall said after the fire, it's working to make something happen. I'd like to see it put back into use, and it's supposed to be used as a recreational space. Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News. So we asked the owner of the Lindy Box Medical Center for an on-camera interview, but we never heard back from them. And tomorrow's installment of Vacant New Orleans, Danny takes us into a few different neighborhoods to see how they're dealing with vacant homes and properties. That airs on the Eyewitness News at 6. You don't